Good afternoon to our respected principal sir, coordinator sir, honorable chief guest professor Rishan Dasu, my colleagues, senior colleagues and all my dear students present out here both in online and offline mode. Today basically I uh, heartily welcome to all of you on behalf of Technic Polytechnic Institute Hubli West Bengal. We all are gathered here to celebrate a special occasion that is National Education Day to commemorate the birth anniversary of Maulan Abul Kalam Azad, first education minister of independent India. And I am very glad to announce you that today with us we have a chief guest, our sir, Professor Eshan Bashu, advisor, academic and administration, Technic Polytechnic Institute. Basically, there is uh, no information or no uh, information to share about him because all of you know sir is a endeavor and his efforts endless efforts regarding the institutes or to our society so i just heartily welcome to our sir professor ishan basu sir and give applause for her, our sir thank you Abhijay. Sir, please. May I start now? Yes, sir. You can start, sir. Okay. Good afternoon to all. Respected principal sir. Good afternoon, sir. Coordinator sir. All faculty and staff members present here today. I heartily welcome my dear students on this very auspicious day. National Education. I will initiate my short speech with a quotation of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad that inspires our students. The, to succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. I repeat, to succeed in your mission, you, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. All of us ever that in India, National Education Day is celebrated every year on November 11th. This day is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad served as India's first Vice President as well as the first Education Minister of Independence India. And his efforts to make education accessible to all. He was awarded Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honors in 1992. On this day, Students and teachers come together to share the importance of literacy and the country's commitment to all aspects of education. National Education Day pays homage to all the fundamental contributions by Abul Kalam Azad to India's education system. Now, how we can celebrate the National Education Day in our college? There are several ways. We can conduct innovative programs like seminars, workshops that will make the students understand the importance of education. We can also mark this day with essay writing workshops and rallies with slogans on the importance of literacy and India's commitment to education. Seminar and workshops will be conducted by the teachers on engineering education, present and future trends. Our teachers should initiate this, uh, this program. Principals have requested me to highlight on the topic. The purpose of education is, the, is to make good human beings with skill and expertise, enlightened human beings can be created only by teachers. 
This is also quote of Mulana Abul Kalam Azad. The future of Indian engineering education is going to be more advanced from what we have at present. This is because people are going to have an increased awareness of the role that engineers play in the society. Indian engineering education system is set to undergo a major overall as the government is focused to manufacture again engineering sector in India, which includes a gradation of engineering colleges, upgradation of engineering colleges, improve faculty quality, and provide better infrastructure for students. Engineering education in India currently facing three major challenges in my view. <coughs> Sorry. Number one, shortage of qualified teachers. Number two, lack of industry engagement and the low employability. Number three, the Indian engineering education is not at par with the international standards. The teaching quality of India's engineering colleges suffers due to the lack of good teachers, infrastructure and facilities. The curricula are to be revised in a timely manner, which is the responsibility of our state board. There, are, there is also need for greater emphasis on vocational skills to meet the changing needs in the industry. In case of a TPI, if we are talking about TPI, we are not facing the problems regarding qualified and good teachers, infrastructural facilities, and training and placement of our students. In many engineering colleges, the quality of education is very poor. Many of the engineering colleges do not have good infrastructure teachers, not well, uh, teachers are not well qualified. With the teachers and students should be involved in the teaching learning process to prepare our students technically competent. The government should form an independent committee which should be responsible for the development of technical education in the country. Still there are opportunities for engineers to get good jobs if he or she is technically competent. This is also opportunity for the students who want to pursue careers in their field. Engineering profession in the next two decades. Now what is one decade means? Students? Anybody? What do you mean by one decade? One decade is 10 years. Engineering profession in the next two decades will undergo dramatic changes driven by not only technological development but also societal transformation. <coughs> Without society society development, development of the society, we cannot develop our country. Future engineers should change their mindset and incorporate sustainability and corporate social responsibility <coughs> sorry, as they as key parameters in their day-to-day -day working as well as decision-making framework. Now, what, what are the main components of education? <coughs> the components of education mainly knowledge, skills, attitude and values. Without these four parameters, we cannot go ahead. Are to be imparted. These skills are to be imparted to our students by the teachers for their overall development. Curricular contents as well as pedagogy will need to be changed accordingly. <coughs> Therefore, to become an 
engineering any of the branches you really need to plan during your student life in a smart way and work hard in that direction and only and only then you can excel your life with the tag of engineer a large amount of students are studying engineering in our country as a, and at the end of the day a section of students acquire no engineering knowledge and when they don't get <coughs> suitable employment they start to tell i am engineer but i don't get work so study your subjects both theoretical and practical seriously now what are the reasons of employment uh, unemployment in our country high expectation we have high expectation high salary lack of confidence lack of positive attitude lack many concepts and never took studies seriously wasted their precious precious time i want to do something big thought and ended up doing that thing like this lack of discipline irregular at everything not serious enough about their future life you have to be think of about your future future life some engineering students have attitude towards entrepreneurship as a career option students should take interest and involved in entrepreneurship education during his course of study engineering students those are interested to be an entrepreneurs with the teachers to build entrepreneurship skills in their mind to make the student successful professional and entrepreneur all over i would like to say that national education policy is boon in many ways and it aims to focus on creativity and overall development of students interest it is it is perfect for new 21st century and gives new vision of education in the future i will end by speech again with the quote of apj abdul kalam all of us do not have equal talents but all of all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talents you understand this all of us do not have equal talent but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talent thank you all for patient hearing wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank you very much thank you so much sir for your valuable speech on this occasion basically we are trying to uh, uh, organize a webinar uh, from culture club committee of this institute and again thank you so much sir now i would like to request you uh, one of my students from civil second year to give a presentation good afternoon respected teachers and my dear friends and asian basu sir i am pijush roy student of technic uh, polytechnic institute department of civil engineering we all have gathered here to celebrate a national education day to commemorate the birth anniversary 
uh, of the first education minister of independent India and pay tribute to the man who built the foundation and uh, quality and scientific education. Abdul uh, Kalam uh, Azad, Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. The first National Education Day was inaugurated by President Pratiwa Patil on 11th of November 2008. So, next slide. The dreamers are those who can dream beyond the limits, and usually they are the ones who can think out of the box. They are not just dreamers, they are the doers too. Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad was such a man. He streamlined the Indian education system, but also forcing the start of the first ever Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, that we all know of, in the uh, in country uh, in 1951. Not only that, he founded Jama, uh, Jamila Mila Islamia University. He also set up the university's Grand Commission in 1953. He advocated women's education and free uh, compulsory primary education for children up to 14 years of age. Quoting one of his quotes, we must not uh, for a moment forget it's a birthright of every individual to receive at least basic education without which he cannot fulfill discharge his duties as a citizen he is not only a huge inspiration for us students but he is a huge inspiration for the teachers as well i like commemorating this day uh, like this, we are just keeping his ideologies and beliefs alive. To make this day even more impactful, the Ministry of Human Resources and Development set a different theme for National Education Day every year, keeping in mind the target of the country's education and uh, technical sectors. The event for the day uh, is to uh, uh, the event for the day is to design a theme, and the theme is to transform changing uh, education, indicating uh, like there is a need to reform the education system and make it more appealable for the current times to lay us the foundation for the stepping stone to greatness with education. I would like to end this presentation uh, with his one of his quotes. It takes great, uh, great strength either to climb Mount Everest or to succeed in your career. Thank you all. Thank you very much. The excellent presentation. Thank you, Piyush, Piyush Rai from Civil Engineering Department. And now I would like to request uh, Mr. Suman Sikdar, one of the member of uh, from Cultural Subcommittee, as well as from Training Placement Officer. So I would like to request uh, him to few words. Can you hear me? Yes, yes yeah. sir. Oh, okay. Uh, so my yes, yes. Sikdar, and I'm, I'm a member of. Uh, uh, on behalf of uh, Cultural Subcommittee of uh, Technic Polytechnic Institute, I would like to thank all of you who are present here. Uh, I would like to specially thank uh, Professor uh, S. N. Basu, uh, who is the uh, advisor academics uh, and administration of Technic Polytechnic Institute. Just uh, touched upon uh, things like he's touched, so he's touched upon things like education. He's touched upon employability. He has talked about uh, entrepreneurship and what are the uh, barriers to employability, everything. So it was a wonderful location. I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Piju uh, Shrai, uh, who has uh, given a wonderful presentation. 
so i think uh, uh, at the end of this uh, program we uh, know at least what this education means for us and uh, uh, what actually uh, now can can anybody tell me uh, on whose birth anniversary do we celebrate the national education day on whose birth anniversary do we celebrate the national education day is maulana azad is maulana azad this is today is 11th november and on this day we uh, in order to commemorate his birth anniversary we celebrate the national education day so thank you all of you thank you once again i will like thank professor sn basu once again uh, can we close the session now sir uh, with your permission can we close the session now professor basu yes yeah, can we close the session now we are trying yes. okay okay thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you